Hi, I'm Michelle Mason from Support Mind Scotland, and I'm joined by David from the Stafford Centre, and I'm here talking to Dean about the control room, I think. Dean, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm going to give you a wee introduction into the control room. I'll just give you a wee introduction into me first. My name's Dean. I've worked with Lothian Buses for 25 years. I started off as a driver at Longstone Depot, and I now work in our control room as an AVL controller. What does that acronym stand for? The AVL is Automatic Vehicle Locator. Does that like mean the digi screens when you stand at the bus stop? Yeah, that's part of the, when the driver signs on, which I can show you later on, when the driver logs on to his, in the morning, logs onto the machines in the cab, uh, when he leaves the garage, it actually switches the AVO on, which mm -hmm. is like a, a, a very, what would we say, like a, a sat-nav. I was going to say, but a lot more yes. advanced. Yeah, 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 a lot more advanced. Gives us a lot of information on the driver, i.e. his name, the service, where he's going. It's, it's very, very, very beneficial for the drivers, especially if they're new and they're not sure of the routes, because we can give them a lot of assistance in that. So it's... And then does that does that transfer onto the, like the app that I have on my phone, yeah, which says yeah. that the bus is due in five minutes, and yeah, guess it's, what, it's due in five minutes? It's all linked. All wow. the information we put in and we input in the control room, which I believe you're going to see later on, uh, you'll see how the information is inputted and how it ends up on the driver's system. It could you tell me more about what happens in the control room? Yeah, I can tell you uh, the way the, the control room is made up. It's, it's made up of teams of people. We've got AVL controllers which there are five of us, and we deal with all the different garages, obviously Longstone Marine, Central, West Lothian, and East Coast. So there's one AVL controller that monitors the services that come out of them garages. So if I was the Central AVL controller, I'd be looking after Central. So that's a lot of buses you're looking after. Yeah, we also have in there, in the control room, a duty manager who oversees everybody, and we also have two controllers. The controllers look after uh, our patrol vans, which is another part of the team. We have five patrol vans that go out every day at different times. So we'd have our first patrol van going out at five o'clock in the morning. On his van, he has all the equipment to do minor repairs, top up buses with water, change mirrors. Uh, he can do little jobs that need checking. If there's an incident, i.e. an accident, where someone's injured, or the bus needs to be towed by recovery, the van will go there and assist the driver in all aspects, whether it be an accident, an incident, someone might be asleep on the bus, someone's taken on well on the bus. So that's the role of our patrol van. So that's all, all as it says, controlled by the control room. I see. And do you also deal with, like, for instance, a, a, um traffic problems, for instance, boards being closed, um, uh, traffic jams. Yeah, we do that as well. We, we've, we've also got a team from the council that work in the control room as well uh, that assist us with that. There's a lot of information we've got uh, in the control room to monitor. We've got CCTV, uh, which is part of City in View, which gives us a, a, a general view of the whole city via CCTV. And obviously the AVL and the apps that we've got, we can see when there's a problem on any road. And if there is a road closure, we can respond to that very quickly by diverting the services away from it. We're in radio contact with the drivers, so it's very efficient. How many screens do you have in the control room? Yeah, that's a good question. There's probably a bank of at least, I would say probably, they're big TVs and it's all split up into different screens, but we've probably got it's probably about 10 screens, like TVs, mm -hmm. and then that split up could be four or five different views of different areas of the city. Wow. So we've got a, a really good view of the whole city. That, that's right. Yeah. And, and do you li liaise with the, with the police uh, uh, as regards incidents, maybe somebody causing trouble on a bus or some you know, major incident like that? Yeah, yeah. If, 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 we, if we get a call from a driver, there's different types of calls that we get. And one of them is what we call a distress call, which comes up as an urgent call on our, on our screen with an audible alarm, which means the driver's in trouble. That would be answered straight away. Now, that could be a road closure. It could be an accident. 
and we'll deal with it if we can with just our, our own street supervisors and van, or we'd be in contact with the police, the same way as everybody else with the 101 or the 999. See, thank We're you. also lucky to have our own police liaison officer, who okay. I think you're going to meet later on. Thanks very much, Dean, for that. That was really interesting. And next up on our tour is meeting the police liaison officer, Mike McGill. Thank you.